We have the best red carpet looks and dramatic moments from this year's Met Gala. And speaking of the Met Gala, did Justin Bieber tell everyone that Selena Gomez looked beautiful last what? night? And is Nicki Minaj considering a career change? All that and more on today's Daily Hollywood Rundown. Hi you guys, welcome back to the Daily Hollywood Rundown. We have so much to cover today. So much. Holy cow, the Met Gala was last night and it was awesome. Yeah, Erin, start me off with some of the looks. The Met Gala is always known for its wild and creative and cool red carpet looks and last night was no exception. Now the theme of the event was China through the looking glass. So when Justin arrived wearing this very chic all black ensemble featuring a dragon coat, we could not help but pull out all of our praise hands. I love the look. Now Justin's ex, Selena Gomez, she caused all heads to turn as she glided down the red carpet in an all white Vera Wang gown with these black tassels kind of trailing off the back straps. She also wore this white floral headpiece, total couture, and um, she was even accompanied by the dress designer, Vera Wang herself. And Jennifer Lawrence, we have to talk about it. She was one of the first to arrive to the event. She wore a Christian Dior couture dress that had red and white flowers and a black skirt. Her hair was pulled back in a bun. She looked really classy, really simple. Also, Kendall Jenner, killed it last night on the carpet wearing this jade green dress by Calvin Klein Collection. It was covered in crystals. It totally had sex appeal written all over it, but it was still very classy. Kendall's bestie Cara Delevingne also looked really classy. She wore a black Stella McCartney jumpsuit. And I love that she tied in the Chinese theme with some beautiful body art on the arm. She looked gorgeous. That was really cool, but it's time to talk about the ladies that went nude Whoa. last night. It was a battle of the booties. Okay, so let's start with the woman who sets red carpet trends, J-Lo. Jennifer Lopez is known for her risque Versace gowns with very strategically placed embroidery. Now, Kim Kardashian, dare I say she was the best dressed last night. She wore a Peter Dundas for Roberto Cavalli gown. And when Kim and Kanye arrived, all eyes were on them. Well until Beyonce arrived. So when Beyonce hit the red carpet, it seemed like it froze in time. All eyes were on Queen Bee and she knew it. She posted eight different pictures to Instagram of this gown, showing off all of her assets. Okay, so we talked about some awesome Met Gala moments. Let's talk about some WTF moments. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna start out with Rihanna. She walked the red carpet dressed as an omelet. Well, whatever you perceive it as, it inspired some hilarious internet memes. The dress was made by a Chinese designer named Gua Pai. Another total WTF look came yeah. by way of Robert Pattinson's new fiance, FKA Twigs. She made jaws drop, not only because her Christopher Kane dress was a piece of artwork in itself, but because it featured a penis a man's genitalia part on the slit of the dress, which totally seems like something Miley Cyrus would wear. You mentioned Miley. Miley looked edgy as always. She wore an Alexander Wayne gown. It was studded with an open back and cutouts that showed off her toned body. She was posing at all angles and revealed to the press that she was actually going commando. So my question is, I wonder if Alexander Wang wants the gown back or not now. Um, of course he does. <laughs> he could sell that on eBay for so much money. Someone else who really just showed up and showed out is Lady Gaga. Couture fashion artist, totally her thing, and she really went for it wearing this voluminous Balenciaga dress, complete with a little headdress on top. Not necessarily anything I would wear myself, but totally signature Gaga. Finishing out this list is Miss Katy Perry, who went for it big time, but kind of yeah. missed the mark for me. She wore a machino confection gown covered in graffiti art and she finished off her look with a can of spray paint as a clutch. And there was just not much about this look that I thought was elegant. It looked like it'd be cool for a themed birthday party or something, but the Met Gala, even though it's wild and crazy, it does have a, a degree of elegance to it and I yeah. think Katie's look was kind of missing that. And now for the happenings at the Met Gala. As Justin Bieber was exiting, fans crowded around his SUV. They were taking pictures saying they, had, they loved him. But there was one cameraman from TMZ that it looked like Justin knew him. And as Justin was driving away, he screamed to the cameraman, Selena Gomez looked gorgeous at the Met Ball tonight. 
so totally unprompted, by the way. Like nobody asked him about Selena. Not one not question. Completely irrelevant. It was right before he was about to drive away that he said that. So that tells me either he wants Selena to know that, like he didn't get a chance to tell her. He wants her to know that he was thinking yeah. about her, or he was trying to make headlines. I don't know. Well, Selena reportedly rumored to have just broken up with Zed. So maybe he's trying to get back in her mm. good grace. Well, Justin may be on a positive PR stint right now, but he was breaking some rules last night, along with a, lo a lot yeah. of other celebrities who were doing some rule breaking stints <laughs> last night. So one big rule at the Met Gala is that you cannot take photos on your phone. They completely say you're not allowed to do this, especially inside of the event. Well, a lot of celebrities, thankfully, broke the rules and posted amazing shots of them on Instagram and Twitter, like Justin, who took photos with Lady Gaga and Cara Delevingne inside of the main event. Other rebellious rule breakers included Kanye, who clearly hasn't taken any selfie tips from his wife's selfie book because he had the low angle shot. Dude, that is not a good <laughs> look. Oh, and Katy Perry, who posed for this adorable photo with Lady Gaga and Madonna. And could this photo be proof that Lady Gaga and Madge are no longer feuding? Madonna captioned this photo first with, quote, kissing the ring, finally. We also saw pics from Cara Delevingne, from Miley Cyrus. Of course, Rita Ora was there looking beautiful. Vanessa Hudgens posted some photos. Selena Gomez was featured in a ton of photos. Um, also with her BFF, Lily Collins, throughout the night. Kim Kardashian, who got a kiss from Mother Monster, lucky girl. And this booty shot was one of my favorite, my favorite. of the two most famous peoples behind in Hollywood of Jennifer Lopez and Kim Kardashian walking in their couture gowns. I feel like, honestly, there were more photos of an event when they told them they couldn't take photos yes. than there are of events where they can take photos. 100%. Now, the Met Gala is one of the biggest fashion events of the year, but really the place to be last night was at Rihanna's up and down after party. She knows how to get down. Whoa. A ton of celebrities attended this event and sources close to E! News are giving us some insight into what happened inside. So Justin and Selena were both in attendance at the after party, but they didn't really interact too much according to these sources. They did have a brief little run-in and, quote, exchanged some words. But other than that, they didn't really communicate at all, which is very interesting. Justin apparently spent most of his night dancing and having an awesome time with his friends, which included Kendall Jenner, of course, Usher, and gal pals Haley Baldwin and Shanina Scheich. And Kylie and Tyga were both at the party, too. And while these two are rumored to be dating right now, we all know those rumors. These inside sources say that their PDA was almost non-existent. Now, another interesting observation inside was that Leonardo DiCaprio, who was rumored to be dating Rihanna for a while, you'll remember that. But last night, he was all like, Rihanna who? Because he was spending so much time with Gigi Hadid and Bella Hadid. He so loves the models. He loves the models. But what about Rihanna? I bet her feelings were hurt. I bet she doesn't care. She's moved on by now. So it was a very eventful Meg Gala night. Yeah. It was more than what we had expected, and so now I'm really excited about next year. <laughs> well, although the Met Gala was really eventful, there are other things happening in the world. What's going on with Nicki Minaj? Well, Miss Nicki Minaj, she's on the track to becoming a movie star, y'all. Now, we saw her last year make a cameo in the rom-com The Other Woman, which I thought she did amazingly. But Variety is now reporting that Nicki will once again grace the big screen in an upcoming movie called Barbershop 3, <laughs> where she's going to be playing Drea. It's going to be a sassy new hairdresser role of the beauty shop portion of the barbershop. I could totally see her in this role and killing it. But somebody else who started movies before, Taylor Swift, yeah. she kicked off her tour, her 1989 world tour in Tokyo, and she actually went a little rock and roll, so she wore some leather and did a rendition of We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. That was rock inspired and the fans seem to love it. a lot to cover. Yeah. So much Met Gala stuff. I know we are totally out of breath. I gotta get some water. But before we go, we have a couple questions. What do you think was the best look of the night? Actually, yeah. I want your top three best dress looks of the night and maybe your top three worst dress looks of the Ooh, night. Oh, I like that. It's yeah. hard to choose. Let us know in the comments, you guys. Thanks so much for watching the Daily Hollywood Rundown and we will see you back here tomorrow. See ya. Speaking of Selena, she put some haters on blast for body shaming her. And to catch that, it's in the video box on the left. And in the box on the right, can you believe
believe that Britney Spears might have dissed Iggy Azalea. We're not quite sure of the situation, but we have all the details in the box on the right.